There is a popular expression. If these rocks could only talk, what a story they could tell. Well, these rocks do. Uh, yes? We'll go over this real quick. Um, since you have your plate, what you'll do is we'll come over here and we'll get three rocks. You may pick three rocks out. Um, one of the rocks we want to take to the nursing home, either Leisure or Kenwood. Um, they're going to go to a random resident, okay? So we need to make sure you paint one of those. Your other two rocks, you can make them for your family, you can make them for your teacher, you can make them for your friend, anything you want to do. If you want to make a K-State rock, make a K-State rock. Whatever you want to do, you just do it, okay? So, but one rock definitely has to go to a resident at Leisure Kenwood, okay? We have plenty of rocks over there. Um, and depending on how many more people come, we may be able to make a couple extra if you'd like. Okay, but uh, if uh, make sure uh, you want to take your sweatshirts off and so that we don't get paint on them, or if you feel if they're paintable, if you don't mind getting paint on them, okay, then you can wear them. Um, but other than that, um, if you want to, we'll get up, we'll make a line. Blue's a good one. Okay, so they don't actually vocalize, but they do communicate. These are kindness rocks. Wednesday, participants painted them, wrote messages on them, and then delivered them to the residents of Kenwood and Leisure Home. They are sort of like thinking of you cards, but they last a lot longer. Maybe in another thousand years or so, when the paint has worn off, Someone else will use them again to put smiles on people's faces.